Okay guys, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently today. I didn't take my GoPro to Lake Vernery and I forgot to do an intro. So this is my intro and, well, talk through really. Okay, what can I say about Lake Vernery? It's about an hour to Chester from there, um, an hour and a quarter from Shrewsbury, about an hour from Barmouth, and I'm trying to think anywhere else. 40 minutes, 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 it's 40 minutes to Bala. So it's not far from Bala. Um, it's a big reservoir, big dam. There used to be a village underneath it called Lanovin, which has been moved slightly down the road now. Um, we sometimes see it during the summer when the water is very low. It was built in the 1880s to supply water to Liverpool. Um, it was built over the source of the river Vernwy. And the River Vern we eventually goes into the Severn at Crew Green, which is another drop-off point or paddling point that I've covered beforehand. There's a large hotel nearby, um, it's called the Vernwy Hotel, funnily enough. Um, it's quite expensive. I did look up prices and things like the 4th of June for one night is £190. So it's a posh place, they've got a spa, they do um, clay pigeon shooting, they have fly fishing there, they do have all sorts there. So it's a nice place to go if you've got the money. Otherwise there's probably about, I think there's about four campsites that are within 20 minutes of Lake Vernwy. So you can go stay on one of those. There's parking spaces, most places around the actual lake itself. It's a pretty big lake but you can't paddle all of it anyway. Um, there are a lot of places to park near to the boathouse, which is the only place you can actually get onto the water. Okay, at Burnley itself, what's there? There isn't a great deal there. There's a cafe, um, there's some public toilets, there's a conservation area, and I think there's a, a largish car park below the actual dam. When you go over the dam, you turn and take a left and you go down down the hill into a car park. I think there's a play area there, but I'm not 100% sure because I've never been down there. If you go right, when you go across the dam, you'll see some parking on your left and you'll see some parking on your right. Not a great deal, but there is parking there. And if you follow the road around, about two minutes, you'll get to the boathouse. The boathouse is operated by Vernery Hotel. Uh, it's called Bafania, 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 Bafania Adventure. Um, if you do a quick Google for that, you'll find some details there. They hire sups, they hire canoes, kayaks, etc., stuff like that. If you take your own sup, you can get. Hmm, I think the day, yes, the day was five pounds. If you take your own sup to go onto the water to get access which is not a bad price, about average for Wales in their area, especially for reservoirs. When you hire from there or when you um, get your day pass, they'll give you a little flag to put on your board. And that just proves to anybody that checks um, that you've paid to go on the water. There are wardens around. Um, speaking of wardens, if you park anywhere around and you want to stay at night, don't wardens will stop and wake you up. There's no parking overnight around Vernery at all. As I said, you get onto the water at the boathouse. There's limited parking there. There's quite a bit of parking, but it does get busy at the busier times. So be prepared to go early if you have to. Speaking of which, it doesn't actually open till 10 o'clock, but obviously you can go park there before then. I think it's open 10 till 5 every day, but give them a call and find out just to check. The day I went, it was chocker block. i never seen it so busy. As you can see, um, cars, parks everywhere, two in the lines of two, along the road everywhere. So be prepared. If two of you are going, or you've got two cars going, park, some, park in the front and make your mates park behind you that way you won't get blocked in if it does get busy the guy there will tell you where and where you can't paddle you can't paddle the whole length 
You can sometimes go up to the dam itself, but more often than not, there's a line of boys there just to mark where you can and cannot go. Um, if you go to the left, up the lake, you'll see a campsite, or not campsite, a picnic site on your left overlooking the water. And that is as far as you can go on a paddleboard. They let kayaks go higher or higher and further up the lake, but not paddleboards. Apparently the wardens have had trouble with paddleboarders going further, getting into trouble, having trouble getting back because the wind can pick up suddenly and they've had to go collect them. And so they don't like people going past the picnic spot now. So be aware of that. Having said that, it does go past the water tower, which everybody likes to see and get photos of. So that's it's no big deal really. And it's still about a mile from the dam up into that part, um, picnic area. So you've got a good old paddle there, not to mention going across and back. So yeah, it's a good paddle and it's a beautiful paddle when the weather's good, as you can see. Speaking of the tower, you're not allowed to go right up to it unless you want to end up in Liverpool because that's where the water pumps are. So I think they advise you to don't go any nearer than 200 yards. So just be mindful of that and if you do get nearer, they do tend to send a speedboat out and they will come and get you or tell you off. The only other things I would say really is just check the wind before you go. Even a small wind of four or five miles an hour, if it's blowing down the lake towards you, um, it can be hard work paddling against it. It does make a lot of chop. And if you're going across the lake, um, it can be hard work staying on, on your board. You're getting a side chop on there, and you're wobbling all over the place. So just be wary of that. Try and go on a day that's under five miles an hour. Five miles an hour max, really, if you want to have a nice relaxing paddle. If you like a bit of adventure and a bit of a challenge, by all means go in higher winds, but it does get choppy. It's very much like Bala when the wind picks up. There is a lot of chop on it. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, no more, I'm not gonna do a proper paddle out on my GoPro etc because as I said I forgot it um, so that's about it really that's your lot hopefully I'll be getting out again soon and I'll catch you again later give me a like subscribe leave a comment good or bad um, any places you'd like me to go um, anything I can do to improve the videos and I'll try and do it thank you very much and see you now